Hey everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. Hope everybody's having a great start to their day. Uh, been up, did a little morning time with baby. She's running to uh, go to an apartment. I'm headed uh, to get some AM work done at the office. And then we're gonna meet up midday and spend a little more time together. I mean, uh, I'm passionate about the work that I do. Uh, I love my people. Um, I love my business, you know, what I do for a living. Um, I plan on, at some point, being able to do what I do for free. Uh, once I'm completely established, that's how much I love what I do. Helping people change their lives, helping people grow helping people overcome trauma, uh, helping people manage difficult situations and times in their lives. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's, it's a blessing to me. Uh, I find myself being encouraged uh, by the experiences of the people that I work with and all that, but I'll, I'll tell you something. Man, it's something different and special about the time I have uh, and the life I have with my wife. Uh, the thing that uh, I know I've always wanted, but early in my life didn't really understand or know, but knew it was something to experience and walk in that every day. And don't get me wrong, I'm not in any way talking about things being perfect, but the way we handle one another, the way we deal with one another, the way we support one another, the way we're able to communicate with one another, uh, without hostility, without rage, without anger, uh, and to, to always be in each other's corner no matter what, that's special. So, you know, when I get this time like this, man, you know, I'm still giddy. Uh, but th that's out of the way. That ain't why I came to talk to you, you know. And, uh, you know, I don't talk about my wife as much as I used to because I found out not everybody was happy for me or for her and we get a lot of negative energy um, and just a lot of you know if, you, if you're really in tune with what goes on in this world spiritually you know what I'm talking about but every now and then I just have to let y'all people know I'm good now that out the way uh, I don't want you guys to forget that I am currently in the early stages of writing book number 25 uh, the Black Wealth Project and this is an entire historical economic political uh, endeavor this isn't just the X's and O's this isn't just about group economics this isn't about buy black not that it is all those elements aren't in there it's so much more it's a historical account of all the mechanisms that have been put in place since 1865 to stop blacks from collectively building wealth and why the wealth gap uh, between blacks and whites are act is actually still widening and what we need to do to actually change that. And so this book is going to be an in-depth one. You know, uh, I have a tendency to write around three something and four something pages and this is going to be in that area. Uh, I'm, I'm estimating at least um, and I'm excited about it. But also uh, with it being uh, my 25th book project, I wanted to um, invite people in uh, to participate. Uh, so I created a sponsorship program, which will definitely help me. But also the sponsorship program is you can sponsor space in the book. It's real simple. You sponsor space in the book. There is no minimum sponsorship. So if you decide to sponsor with a dollar, you're going to have space in the book. You're going to be able to put your name and you're going to be able to acknowledge whatever it is you want to acknowledge, whoever it is you want to acknowledge. It started out just being a memorial, somebody you want to memorialize. But I'm like, okay, some people have people that are still living that they want to memorialize. Some people may want to uh, acknowledge their spouse or a mentor that they're still working with, somebody that's currently impacting their lives. There, there may be some people that want to celebrate something they've done, you know, worthy 
of mentioning and memorializing. So it's it's what you choose. Now, uh, like I said, there's no minimum, but if you do sponsor $25 or more, you're gonna actually get a signed copy of the book. If you sponsor $100 or more, you're gonna get a dedicated page, meaning that you'll have a page to yourself. And if you uh, sponsor 250 at first, it was 500. I've dropped it to uh, 250. If you sponsor 250, uh, you can not only uh, get a dedicated page, but you will also be able to, to submit an image uh, to go along with the memorial so people can actually see the person that you're memorializing or the person you're acknowledging or the picture with you and your spouse, whatever it is you want to put in there. So again, definitely go in the uh, description box click the link and uh, go to the page. I'm gonna actually put the direct link in case you don't wanna go to the page, you can go directly uh, to just sponsoring. I'm gonna put that link in there where, uh, as well. So you can just do either or. Uh, sometimes people don't like go to the site and then sometimes the site is uh, moving slow. We're working on that, uh, but server space and uh, so much, of, so many other things go into VPNs and all that stuff. We're, we're still trying to keep up with everything that's going on on that end. But hey, sponsor some space in that book and submit what you want in there. I'll actually email you once you sponsor to get your submission. Okay, that's out of the way. Stephen A. Schmidt. This guy never ceases to amaze me. And I don't mean that in a good way. Um, it's always something and uh, it's obvious, it's been obvious for probably about six or seven years that Stephen A. Smith is rapidly becoming the face of ESPN. Uh, and there are multiple benefits for ESPN and nothing good for black athletes or blacks in general. Um, it's always something. Stephen A. Smith has made a career out of calling out blacks for not fitting into white systems. Um, way back as far back as Allen Iverson and, and you know, on him about his braids and his tattoos and how he covered uh, the um, malice in the palace, which was the big brawl and breakout uh, between the Pacers and the Detroit Pistons in Detroit. Uh, and uh, so many other things all the way up to recent years where he goes in on blacks and says whatever he wants to say and is unapologetic about it. And then if he steps out of line and says something that involves a white person, all of a sudden he's back there with apology and, and in a couple of cases gotten suspended. So they keep him on a tight rein when he, he's dealing with them, but he, they unleash him on us. And you know, that the white sports fans get to eat that up. So that keeps viewership up because he is the tap dance, uh, jig dancing, highly animated Negro that white people see all blacks as being. You know, I, I, I know you can become excited and passionate about arguing sports points, but it's way overboard with Stephen A. Smith. And it's a performance. It's what became he became known as and you know he's always wanted to be Stuart Scott but he didn't have the class and the authenticity yeah you you're from New York and you know you balled a little bit you balled enough to get you to college but you didn't ball enough to make it to the league and so they've given you a position to criticize the ones who were good enough to make it and don't get me wrong I'm not uh in any way demeaning those who haven't made it to the league. That isn't about that. You know, you, you do what you do and you go where you go and all that's good. If you gave it your best shot, if you showed up every day and you fell a little short, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. My thing is how you approach life after that is what I'm looking at. You know, if Stephen A goes and then he gets his college degree and he goes on and he does something and even gets into the field he's in and he still acknowledges and represents and represents us and shows love to us and stands up for us and speaks truth to power about our plight and what's going on. If he acknowledges that we are the commodity, that we are the value, that we should be treated as such, then, hey, okay, you did good. You, you, you took your route, your platform, and you did something 
uh, that was representative of our values, interests, and principles. But when you use your platform to keep black people in check, when you use your platform to shout down and be dismissive about real true black issues, when you use your platform to uh, parrot white narratives and to p push and, and, and anchor the Eurocentric idea of what is, what's classy, what's professional, uh, what's acceptable, what's beautiful, all of these different things that are constantly pushed in the face of blacks via media. When you are a voice in that, you know, I have said this, uh, man, for years, uh, you know, I, I, I've literally seen people quote it, but I'll say it again, that the most dangerous person to white progress is a black face with a white agenda. Now, I initially said a black man, but it's a bunch of females out there, too. I initially said a black man with a white agenda, but there are a lot of black uh, women out there with white agendas that are doing damage also. And so my thing is, I'm looking at the fact, like right now, you know that uh, some real serious stuff is going on when a black man has to pull to get a white man fired. Now, we use the term fire. From what I understand, Max Kellerman is still uh, with ESPN, but he's not on first take anymore. anymore. Uh, from what I heard, I think a couple of days was his last day. Uh, I could be wrong, but I know for a fact that it's been a foregone conclusion that Max Kellerman is out because Stephen A. wanted him out. Now, the only thing that I can think of that why Stephen A would want him out is maybe he feels Max is getting too much of the limelight, too much of the shine, or building too much power on a platform that he's supposed to be dominating, and he doesn't want to lose his position because if I'm not mistaken, he just recently, maybe a year or two ago, signed a multi-million dollar a year contract with ESPN. I mean, something like 40, 50, 60 million over five, four or five years. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be making more money that many of the athletes is going to be uh, uh, critiquing and, 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 and you know and talking about, uh, and so that lets you know how much they've invested in him and what he's bringing to them. And you've got to know that no black person speaking unapologetically from a position of blackness is going to gain that kind of grab, uh, traction in a in an organization that has shown it has no sensitivity to the black plight. And I think that we have to come up with an idea. And I don't, I'm not up here hollering and shouting, boycotting all that stuff, because we haven't proven we can do that at a level to really do, do anything significant. But where I'm at, again, is our need to actually have think tanks. Uh, our need to come together and actually put some of the brilliant minds we have together that understand exactly how all these things work to come up with strategies that benefit us, strategies that can produce results that will be beneficial to us. That's what we've got to be. That's what we've got to go. That's what has to happen. That is what I'm calling for. That's the thing that I'm looking for. I'm looking for black minds to come. We have some brilliant black minds in almost every area that you can imagine, The all areas of human activity. We have brilliant black minds. We need to bring these minds to the table. We need to uh, become committed to coming up with black solutions. The time for traveling and lecturing uh, about black issues as a means of a career, I think need to be over. I think that we've done that enough. I think people should know by now. And I think now we need to invest in bringing these minds together and ensuring that these minds have everything they need to produce the results that are absolutely necessary. That's where we should be at right now. And so my call is that we come together and, you know, but uh, Stephen A is gonna be getting the business from me. Every time he gets out of line, I'm gonna be giving him the business because he has proven beyond a shadow of a doubt 
that he has no uh, investment in advancing black uh, interests. And so he needs to be held accountable. He needs to be called out on that, just like anybody else who's in the same situation. So um, that's that. I made it to the office. I'm about to get out. Uh, so I want to say thank you for that. Don't forget, like I said at the beginning, go down, click that link, and sponsor this uh, sponsor some space in book number 25, uh, which is directly for the black community. And let's 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 uh, make this a special thing. It's special for me because it's 25 25 books. Uh, man, I don't care how many times you do it; it's special. But when you sit them and say, "Man, I've reached 25." Uh, that doesn't count all the articles I've written. That doesn't count all the papers that I've done uh, and so much more, but just the books. And so that's something that I'm excited about. So uh, definitely, uh, I, I want as many people who would love to see someone uh, memorialized or to celebrate something or someone or themselves for doing something they think is special. Uh, I want you in there. Um, and we'll make as much room as we have to, 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 to make it happen. For those of you who are already participated, thank you. Uh, I think, like I said, the thing that probably stood out the most to me is one person actually, uh, when I emailed them for them, for the, for their submission, they were actually thanking me. And like, that's like, wow, out of all the people that you can thank, you know, uh, so it lets me know that I am making a difference, that I am having an impact. And it's always good to know that your work is uh, valid and it's doing something. So on that note, look, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I got to get in this office and get something done. So I'm ready when baby is ready. Uh, and on that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day.